Welcome back to the channel everyone. Kitchen cabinet painting project underway. Just uh, putting masking tape on the doors to uh, identify their location for reinstallation and uh, taking them off the boxes. House was built in 1964, I believe the homeowner said, and these are the uh, original cabinets. So sanding the boxes here with 100 grit sandpaper. Just scuffing them up. Don't need to go crazy here, just uh, Scuff them up, get them clean so the primer has something to bite to. And then I'm just coming here back with uh, caulk to fill the joints between the cabinet boxes. And then you can see I filled the old hinge holes. They were uh, face mounted hinges, so and we're doing new hinges, so filling the holes there. Oh, well, they wanted this decorative apron taken out for a cleaner line across the top, so taking that out, was able to do that without removing that top piece of crown. And the caulk and nail hole filler has dried, so sanding for a second time. You will need to go back and fill those holes a second time. I usually do it after my first coat of primer. It's easier to see the holes that need to be filled again after they've been primed, believe it or not. And now just vacuuming everything up in preparation for the first coat of primer, which I brush on. I brush the boxes, spray the doors and drawer fronts. Used to have the owners, um, homeowners take everything out of the cabinets and mask everything off and spray the boxes as well, but um, it really wasn't worth the, uh, the difference in finish. You can do a pretty darn good job with a brush with some practice. And then with the doors and drawers being sprayed, that's really what you see. You don't really see much of the boxes. So you get that factory finish look from the drawer fronts and the doors being sprayed. So an important thing to keep in mind when you're painting box fronts like this is to always keep your brush moving away from the corner. Um, if you brush into the corner, you can very easily wind up kind of uh, wiping your brush off into the corner and you get your sags and your drips and your runs. 
so you don't want too much paint on the brush and you can see I'm starting into the corner and then brushing away from it so I have nothing the brush can't catch in the corner and leave paint behind Here you can see is again I'm starting in the corner and painting away from it. Worst thing you can have is the sags and the runs and the drips on the boxes. Using the um, bin primer, which is shellac based primer uh, by Zinzer. It's just the best stuff out there as far as um, priming, furniture, anything really. Uh, if you happen to be going over walls that have water or smoke damage, uh, just fantastic sealing properties. It dries quickly, sands really nicely. Um, you do need to clean up with denatured alcohol versus water, which is a bit of a nuisance, but it's it's completely worth it. Also sticks to uh, to a shiny surfaces or glossy surfaces like no other primer. So really good stuff. Just switch to a uh, foam roller for that big panel on the back of the island there All for the up. primer. I'll brush the finish on that back side of the uh, island. But for the primer, just for uh, speed, switch to the foam roller. So that is a replacement Lazy Susan turntable. And uh, I'm just constructing my spray stand for the doors and drawers in the shop. Uh, this allows me to spin the doors, so I'm always spraying in one direction versus having to walk around the door. Uh, that way I can have all the overspray just going towards one wall and uh, works out really well. So now on to the prep of the doors and drawers uh, which is just a machine sanding with 120 grit sandpaper uh, on the flats and then on the corners and the uh, grooves hand sanding with that 100 grit sandpaper and then uh, filling the holes and letting that dry And then I just, you can see I'm pulling the uh, piece of blue tape that I use to identify the doors and just switching it from one side to the other as I go through. So there you can see my uh, spinning stand and you, you get the idea. I'm always spinning in the same direction. Also just makes it go a little bit faster because I don't have to walk around the door. But again, this is the uh, shellac based primer. Um, did not have to thin it at all. It's, it is a little bit uh, more watery, <laughs> although it's uh, alcohol-based, so no need to thin. So just uh, sanding the doors down uh, with a sanding block and uh, then vacuum them, vacuum, vacuuming them <laughs> to get the dust off and spraying them up.
And again, same thing here. Um, I'll have to use hole filler on the nail and uh, pull holes again. So and uh, so it's just works out well to prime them, identify uh, which holes need to be hit again, and do it again. I need to prime everything twice anyway, so no problem there. Those are the long pantry doors. So now I've put down my towels to protect the finished surface and uh, just priming the other side of the doors. Same process, sand them smooth, the filler that is, vacuum them and spray away. But that little spray center with the stand really works out well. Alright, so sanding down the boxes again, just a very light sanding with a uh, sponge, vacuum them clean again, make sure you don't have any dust getting into the finish, and we are starting with the finish, the gray color to uh, that the homeowner picked to tie in with the floor and the backsplash. Again, you can see I'm just starting in the corners and pulling my brush away from the corner so I'm not catching the bristles into the corner and leaving a bunch of paint. So this is the first of what will be three coats of finish with the same procedure, just uh, sanding in between coats, vacuuming, and applying uh, that next coat. And using a two and a two, sorry, two and a two inch angle sash sash brush. That seems to be the best best brush to uh, as far as control, but also uh, amount of paint to uh, paint those uh, face frames. This pantry bank of cabinets also had that decorative apron up top just in front of that uh, four inch can light which uh, they also asked me to remove. And then wanted to keep that little uh, microwave cove, uh, the natural wood. As you can see they've got, still got the natural wood doors and then the uh, the trim on the Formica cabinet, uh, sorry, countertops 
also had the natural wood. First coat of the finish, Sharon Williams uh, emerald, satin finish. Stuff really lays down nicely, great flow and leveling for a water-based paint. Going to look nice. So the video makes the paint look quite a bit bluer than it actually is. It's uh, very like a Dover gray, um, blended in quite nice with the uh, backsplash and the floor. They also kept that crown natural. So I've now moved on to spraying the gray. And so I've set up a sanding station with a towel there, you can see. So both sides have two coats of primer now. And uh, same thing, just a very light scuff sanding with a sanding block. Uh, that shellac base primer really sands out nicely. And then same procedure, just uh, vacuum, spray, and on to the next one. So the boxes that are hand painted get two coats of primer, three coats of the finish, and then the doors and drawers get two coats of primer, both sides, and then two coats of finish. Don't need to do three because uh, you're able to put it on a little bit heavier when you spray. So I just got a little closer here so you can see what's going on as far as uh, vacuuming the doors off and spraying them. Turntable really is great. And those that Lazy Susan um, replacement uh, turntable there was, I think, $7.00. And the door fronts, uh, I just, I don't take the drawer fronts off. Um, just masking the, the boxes just fine. Okay, got the uh, fronts sprayed on the doors and the drawer fronts. Um, and they will dry overnight and I'll spray them again tomorrow. Let's see if I count. Uh, I have to stop it to switch the camera. So 25 doors, uh, six drawers, and yeah, the, the back's turned out really nice, laid down really nice. And uh, 
same thing you can see that it's starting to dry on the edge and how it lays down really nice and uh, you get a nice satin sheen so yes sir all right doors are finished and on site and going through the process of reinstalling them so just using my combination square to get the spacing equal uh, installing the hinges these were the old style um, spring-loaded face frame mounted hinges no adjustment on them which can make it a little bit tricky to install the doors level but uh, not a problem just need to go a little bit a little bit slower a little, be a little bit more careful I believe that soffit had wallpaper, or has wallpaper, which is the only wallpaper in the kitchen. Probably would like to see that taken off and have that soffit, soffit painted uh, probably white to match the ceiling and the crown that's going across the top there. that wallpaper and then the uh, wood crown there and then the gray cabinets kind of fighting each other a little bit there but everything else looks really good That's the last of the doors, 25 in all. And now on to the new poles, which had different um, spacing than the old ones. So I had to fill the holes and then drill new ones. So again, just used a ruler to uh, get the spacing, and then you used <clears throat> a smaller drill bit to uh, start the pilot holes, and then came back with a larger drill bit, and uh, I use a drill bit <clears throat> um, 
about uh, oh gosh an eighth of an inch bigger than uh, the hole re requires for the screw to get through and that gives me the ability to uh, have a little bit of an adjustment with the handle which is critical when you've got uh, you know handles that are very close to each other on uh, opposing doors there you want them to be uh, level with each other and plumb. Knobs obviously not as critical, but pretty important with the handles, the pulls. So I spray the doors, I've sprayed them with a, a big, uh, you know, commercial airless sprayer that, you know, you can spray a house exterior with. Um, and uh, this job I used a high volume, low pressure uh, paint sprayer, which is for uh, smaller projects uh, with just the cup there. And uh, both work really well and you can... If you're a homeowner and just looking to do your cabinets, you can buy a high volume, low pressure sprayer on Amazon for $150 or so, and it'll do an excellent job for you. And it's worth it to get the, uh, the sprayed finish versus rolling or brushing on the cabinet doors. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you are alerted when new videos come out on the channel I do expect to have content pretty much every week and should be tripping over the cat bowls any second here or maybe I already did <laughs>